guys. Before I start the video today, I just want to send a special shout out to Dominique, aka Miss Toot7. She's a fellow YouTuber. And I just want to say thank you to her because she gifted me a ring light, a DIY ring light, which I absolutely love. I'm actually using it right now for this uh, part of the video. So I just want to say, Dominique, I don't know if you want me to say your name or not, uh, but Miss Toot7, uh, thank you so much for the ring light. Y'all, she did not have to do it, but she is just a sweetheart uh, that she gifted me this ring light, and it is definitely a blessing, and it's definitely going to help with my channel. She saw a need, and she wanted to support and just show love, and for that, I'm really grateful and very thankful to her for that. Uh, just a very sweet lady. She is a fellow YouTuber, and I will put her information below. And I'll turn it on. But she also gifted me the um, tripod as well. And this is the ring light. This is, again, a DIY ring light. And the great thing about it is it's just as good as a regular ring light. And I'm going to turn it on. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like turned on. And I'm going to kind of put the camera behind it so you can kind of see. But, um, and never mind the face because like I said, I'm working on my skin. So never mind all of that. You know, focus on the light. That's what we focus it on. But I want to show y'all, and like I got it kind of prop. I do have something to put the camera on to put behind a ring light, but I'm just holding it for now. But I want to show y'all just kind of, you know, what it looks like. Look at my eyes. Oh. Please go check out her channel. She's all about natural hair, which she has the most beautiful natural hair. She's all about vlogs. She's all about nail art. And she's all about crochet. So if you're interested in any of those things, please check her out. She has a really, she has a lot of really great content. So please check out her channel. So once again, Miss Toot7, Dominique, if you're watching from Just Janine, thank you so much for the DIY ring light. Yes, I'm using it. Yes, I love it. And again, thank you so much. All right, guys, let's get this video started. Welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine and in today's video I will be doing something a little different that I haven't done in a while which is a recipe Very quick and easy recipe, which is the Texas caviar and for those that don't know what Texas caviar is It is basically a chunky and crunchy salsa and it's good for any uh, Side dish. It's good for just snacking. It's very healthy. It's very delicious um, you know, get-togethers, barbecues, picnics, what have you. Um, it's just a very nice, easy recipe that you can just easily make. It goes a long way. It makes a lot, and everybody will sure to enjoy it. So I want to show that to you and how I make it and the ingredients and everything right now. So follow along with me. All right, so what we have here, I'm just going to show you the ingredients of what we have. So the first thing we have are the chives for the recipe, and you chop these up. You also have your black eyed peas, which you will drain these and um, rinse these off because you'll only use the peas, not the juice. Then you've got your diced chilies. These are mild, I think. Yeah, these are mild. Right there. And then you've got your shoe pig corn. And we've got our tomatoes. An onion. And we have our green onions. We have our zesty or our Italian dressing. You can actually use any Italian dressing. Uh, this is the one I happen to pick up, which is the Tus uh, Tuscan House Italian. But you can also use zesty Italian as well. And then, of course, we have our tortilla chips, which you can get any tortilla chip that you want or choose. What you say? I'm waiting. All right, so my mom is waiting for the food to, <laughs> to be done. And yeah, she's starving too, so we're going to get right to it. So I'm going to show you the recipe and how I make it right now.
guys, so I just finished making the Texas caviar. So as you can see here, we've got the finished product. So basically all you're just gonna do is just mix it up after pouring everything in the bowl. You're just gonna mix everything, make sure that the um, dressing is fully covering all of the ingredients. You're just gonna put this in a refrigerator for two hours to marinate, that's it. Make sure it's nice and chill. And then you just serve it with the um, chips and you have a nice little snack. So it's healthy, it's delicious, it serves a lot. As a matter of fact, my sister just took some <laughs> on her way out. So it's actually a little low because um, I, I gave her some on the way out. But yeah, that is the Texas caviar and it's really, really good y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's great for the summertime, just hot summer days when you want something just cool and crunchy. Uh, nutritious and that's a good snack to go to Texas caviar <sighs> very good so thank you guys so much for stopping in and just watching my video today on the Texas caviar and I hope you guys try it out tell me in the comments below how it turns out how you like it so if you like this video please give a thumbs up please comment and click that subscribe button it's just Janine bye